Hey, welcome everybody to our first little video not set to music. Wanted to show everybody drone trailer version 3. Version 2 had a gooseneck and a three quarter ton truck. Version 3 now is back to the half ton truck, 18 foot enclosed trailer. Gabriel's excited. It's only got 3,500 pound axles, but for the water we're carrying, we're going to be great. We're going to take you on a little walkthrough show you what's going on so we upgraded our water tank to 330 gallons it's our spare tire built a shelf right away got some batteries charging that's for the 12 volt pumps you're gonna see in a minute got stuff to change a tire just in case some tools awesome LED lights this thing blow this trailer right up with light so we're gonna leave them off for now um, the 12 volt batteries are running our 12 volt pumps. Let's see pump one and pump two. Pump one is still the same as it was before. It's still running just fresh water from the fresh water tank into either this hose with the flow meter to fill the mix tank or the garden hose over here that's hanging up. To rinse things down. Uh, pump 2 is a new addition for this trailer. We have added that to power fill the drone again. Uh, we got a gas handle or gas nozzle for that. Um, the gravity feed wasn't working so now we're gonna pull it through a 12 volt pump. Uh, all the testing we've done so far is looking really good. Um, there is an emergency shutoff switch here just in case we run out of water and the pump uh, keeps going. So it's, it's a fifth wheel pump so it builds pressure and stops, so it's perfect for this application. Um, I can't remember. Upgraded the mix tank to 110 gallon mix tank. There's a little bit of water in there for testing, but so we're on a 110 gallon mix tank now. So depending on gallons per acres you guys want, we can run 50 50 acres at a time. If we're just talking two gallons per acre, or I did a pickle field at five gallons per acre, but we did uh, quite a bit of ground at once. Uh, this is in progress still, the cover for the generator. This is going to double as a drone shelf. Uh, okay, I still got the drone sitting in the garage because um, this isn't done, quite done yet. I haven't decided. This is actually going to be, it's going to come off. It's going to set outside. We're going to roll the generator into it and hopefully block some of the noise from the generator because if you've been on a job site with me or have any idea of how loud these things are, it definitely messes up your day. And I'm sick of wearing earplugs all day. So, the platform that's going to go on top of the trailer, that's in progress. i got to start picking up materials for that. So, that's it. i got the spill kit up there. Big old bag of kitty litter and the shovel and the broom. I'm going to pick up a trash can here. Lots of stuff in progress. We're going to put some shelves in here for miscellaneous things. So, we can run on generator, which is that box that comes in right there. Or I've got a plug in the side of the trailer where power's coming in right now that feeds into just this circuit so we can run the power splitter, which this is the plug for the lights. I unplug for now, but I can charge batteries, uh, charge everything on the controller, and run my laptop right out of here. So if we do have to do something where we fly the field first and then process it and then do it all at once, we've got a good power source and we've got a good area to work. So. But that's it. I am excited. This is looking pretty good. Clean the floor up a little bit today. It's not a brand new trailer, but it's new to me. So we're pretty happy about the way everything's going. And um, that's a clean pair of gloves. I got all the rest of the stuff in the t yellow tote and the red totes clean up. So the yellow tote's got gloves and mixing uh, beakers and all that. I'm sure that's not the word for it, but. All right, well, hey, if you guys have any questions, send me a message or look us up on Facebook. Uh, you can always call me at 989-233-3203. Thanks for watching.